NASA is going back to Venus after more than 30 years. But what's exciting about that? I mean, they just landed their fifth rover on Mars and even flew a helicopter on the alien world. So why is everyone thrilled about Venus? Okay, stay with me. I want you to think of sending a spacecraft to a planet whose average surface temperature is hot enough to melt lead, and the rain is comprised of sulfuric acid. Seems impossible, right? Well, that's pretty much the story of Venus. Despite being a close planet to Earth, Venus has always eluded us, thanks to its hostile conditions. But it's impossible to ignore that this hellish planet hides a wealth of information that can help us better understand Earth and exoplanets. Our rovers and spacecraft have been exploring Mars for several years. For example, the Curiosity rover has been there on Mars since 2012. It is fully functional and has been exploring the red planet for nearly a decade. Similarly, we did land spacecraft on Venus, and can you guess what the longest time survived by a Venus spacecraft is? Confused between months and years? The answer is 127 minutes. The vigorous conditions of the planet make it extremely tough for scientists to operate Venusian spacecraft. That's why no NASA mission has been planned for Venus since 1989. But after a dormant period of more than 30 years, NASA is going back to Venus with its two new missions that will be launched in this decade. One of the missions will be an atmospheric probe known as Da Vinci Plus, while the second one will be an orbiter called Veritas. Both the missions have been capped at around $500 million. But what is so special about these missions? How are they going to proceed? And what are they aiming to do? Well, Da Vinci Plus, which is the first of the two selected NASA missions, is actually a descent mission, which means that it includes a descent probe that will be dropped through the atmosphere of Venus. It will take measurements on its way. The descent has been planned to have three stages. The first stage will involve the investigation of the entire atmosphere. The probe will look at the atmosphere's composition in detail and provide information about each layer as it falls. The second stage will observe lower altitudes, while the last one aims at taking surface images in high resolution. Okay, now let's talk about the second mission. Veritas is more like a standard planetary orbiter with two instruments on board to map the planet's surface. The first instrument will investigate the atmospheric and ground composition of Venus. The second instrument on board Veritas is a radar that utilizes techniques extensively used in Earth observation satellites. Besides creating a 3D map of Venus's topography, Veritas will also look for the rock types and tectonic or volcanic activity happening there to determine the planet's geographical history. Since their announcement, both the missions have become the talk of the town. It is expected that these missions will probably help in adding evidence to the theory that the surface of Venus completely melted and reformed 500 million years ago. Moreover, the missions would also shed light on how an Earth-like planet evolved to become such a hostile world. Undoubtedly, many unexpected mysteries are bound to unfold in the coming years. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming videos.